Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Uh, let's start out with some Mr. E, and then I'll comment. Well, this story gets more and more strange by the day, but the other day I saw this little, what to me seemed like a meaningless, trivial story. Louise Linton, the new wife of the new Secretary of Treasury, going on some Twitter rant, you know? So I see a story like that, and already my radar is alerted, right? I know that there's a tranny involved somewhere. You got the wife of a senior government official. It turns out they viewed the eclipse from the roof of Fort Knox. <laughs> and they opened the vault to the public for the, for the first time in 40 years, right around the same time as the eclipse. Uh, just a lot of very strange things going on. I'm not sure what it all means. But my purpose here is to um, take a look at the wife of the U.S. Secretary of Treasury. That's the guy who signs the Federal Reserve notes, otherwise known as U.S. currency. Large skull. It's got that shiny, glossy, firm, and solid skull, doesn't it? Look at that prominent jawline, right? And this person is an actor, okay? An actress, they say, right? An actress, and that, that dude's a Hollywood producer, of all things. The Secretary of Treasury is a major Hollywood producer. He finances lots of these movies, all right? Look at those huge, massive shoulders. Just massive fake breasts, obviously. Wide, wide shoulders and big skull, okay? Prominent brow ridges, sloping back forehead. Look at those uh, on the right there in the red dress. Look at those arms, those long fingers, Okay, and there's the wedding photo. And who shows up to the wedding? Well, of all things, Donald Trump and his six-foot-tall wife. He's always within three feet of a tranny, isn't he? Has he ever talked to a real female? Has he ever been even in the same room as a so. real female? you got to wonder these things, right? Uh, uh, and there he is getting sworn in with the Masonic Bible. And there's the tranny in the White House, in the Oval Office, hand on the hips. Yeah, that one right there. I think that one says it all. I don't know. Maybe you can't see it. I can. Anyway, so what does this stuff mean? Um, wow, that's some crazy stuff. If they it did indeed open up the uh, Fort Knox and those pictures of gold bars that we see there, well, for one thing, how do we know if they're gold? Um, but you know, why would they do that? What are they? Why they need feel the need to restore confidence? Uh, two hundred billion dollars. That's what they're saying. Um, I would say that needs to be. It's kind of interesting because it's on Silver Doctors, um, an article saying that uh, gold is. Jeff Berwick did a calculation. Gold is like way, way undervalued by a factor of ten or eleven or whatever. But uh, I mean, just to take the gold in Fort Knox that they say is there and match it up to the the debt is twenty trillion. You know. Um, that's uh what 200 how much did they say 200 billion so yeah um times 10 is 2 trillion so times 100 maybe gold needs to go anywhere from 10 to 100 fold i don't know um so uh there's definitely something behind that there's a reason why they trot this hollywood producer out who is married to this obvious tranny and then uh, shows the gold at Fort Knox and then watches the eclipse from the roof. That You can't make this stuff up. So something's going on there. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, the cryptocurrency market cap now has just crossed $160 billion, about $161 billion. You can see that Ethereum is still on the rise. It's at 30 plus billion. Bitcoin's at 72 billion with Bitcoin Cash at 10.2. So that's a total market cap for Bitcoin of 82 billion dollars. Um, if you remember, just recently, all all coins dropped down to below 60, and now we're up at 160. Big turnaround. So there's still plenty of time for my uh, one trillion dollar market cap prediction. Uh, Ripple was a mover recently, and uh, there's some others that are that are getting stronger. So Dash, 
has kind of been on a tear. You can see the Dash right there is up to 2.85 billion. Dash, formerly Dark Coin, uh, just adds a lot more uh, anonymity to the transactions. Uh, so, but what I w wanted to talk about tonight mainly is these uh, stories. Um, there's uh, this one here. This is this Antifa and uh, there's Charlottesville and the thing going on there. And honestly, this is the absolute honest truth. I really can't knowledgeably comment on uh, either this Antifa, uh, what's going on with them, or what has been happening in Charlottesville. And the reason why is because, honestly, I don't pay attention to it anymore. Um, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to talk about that. But I want to discuss these uh, these concepts here Um Let's start off with uh, with psychological operations. So, th the term, the common term is psyop. What is a psy psyop? Uh, it's a, it's a psychological operation. Here's the Wikipedia. Psychological operations are planned operations to convey selected information and indicators to audiences to influence their emotions, motives and objective reasoning and ultimately the behavior of governments, organizations, groups, and individuals. So that's actually a pretty good definition. Uh, so a psychological operation, uh, I'm going to use 911 as, as the example because the three that I have here are PSYOP, False Flag, and Hoax. And 911 is a good example because 911 was actually all three. Now, the uh, current stuff with Antifa and Charlottesville, uh, there's some hoax indications, uh, definitely false flag indications. They're both psychological operations, but let's start with 911. So 911 uh, was a psychological operation. It was a psyop. It was an attempt to change people's perceptions um, I don't know how many people still believe the official story. The official story is absolutely ludicrous. I don't think that any honest person who's examined the facts can think anything but that it was an inside operation run by the government itself. The, the charges in the building were demolition charges. That the military was told to stand down. It was, it was a psychological operation. Now, was it a false flag operation? Let's get the definition of false flag. Okay, uh, the term false flag describes covert operations that are designed to deceive in such a way that activities appear as though they are being carried out by entities, groups, or nations other than those who actually planned and executed them. So, also, you know, just using an I want one example, very clearly, you know, uh, that some guy living in a cave hiding out in a cave in Afghanistan uh, ran this complex operation that including the standing down of American uh, military jets. I mean, that anybody could believe that uh, is just absolutely absurd. So the false flag is, uh, the United States is famous for false flags. In fact, one could actually argue that every war that the United States has been involved in uh, Possibly every war, but uh, certainly wars in the 20th century uh, were the result of false flags. We have the Gulf of Tonkin and the Vietnam War, where admittedly the government now admits that it's a false. It was a false flag that they attacked their own ship for the purpose of getting in a war. So that's a false flag. Um, again, 911 definitely a psychological operation. Definitely a false flag. And then the last one is hoax. Now, a hoax is uh, a psychological operation that is att intended to control public opinion and sway public opinion and sway the actions of governments. But it's, it's something that didn't happen. It's trying to make you think that something happened that didn't happen. So the definition here, a hoax is a deliberately fabricated falsehood made to masquerade as the truth. Now, 911 was also a hoax. 
And very interestingly, 911 was also a very important milestone in the integration of the media uh, with the fake news uh, cycle. In other words, the, the media becoming a part of um, creating events. Uh, in the case of 911, if you've ever watched September Clues, there's a lot I've covered it before. You, probably the best documentary ever made is September Clues, and you can see where they went back and got archived VHS tape footage of the planes, quote unquote, that that was either CGI or it was uh, pasted in. It was, I mean, there's just huge holes in it, and it's clear that the media was complicit. So a hoax is where they try to tell you something happened that didn't happen. Now that's very possibly happening with uh, this uh, event in Charlottesville, which again, I don't even know, don't even care. So now why do I say that? Well, this, this is the reason that I say that because these types of manipulations that they're doing are trying to elicit a response from the public and they're trying to push a policy agenda or they're trying to get people to react in a certain way or they're trying to drive political opinion they're trying to drive something and the way to deal with these is to just simply ignore them don't give them any credibility or any promotion in other words if they're doing these things and nobody pays any attention. There have been many things in the past, uh, Second Amendment related things, other things, getting people to try to rise up against the government. Americans are notorious for uh, hunkering down with their guns and their gold, and they're just going to wait. And that's what's happening. I think that the powers that be are finding it very frustrating. Now, I would guess that the DNC is probably behind a lot of this stuff. I don't know. I haven't investigated it, and I'm not going to waste my time doing so. But so the issue is what what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do is to simply ignore them because trying to expose them, trying to play on their playing field is actually playing into their game. The other thing that you can do is to support the alternative currencies because it's my contention that these alternative currencies, and that includes silver and gold, I think more so silver, um, especially with this Fort Knox thing. I, and by the way, I don't, I don't buy into the Bix Weir gazillions of gold stashed all over the world. I don't, I don't think that's possible. I think that uh, um, there was a recent expose on that by, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but uh, it was on Silver Doctors, uh, about how the story about all of this gold is probably just absurd. But I do believe there probably is much more gold than there is silver above ground, um, just because silver gets used up and uh, discarded. So the alternative money systems, whether it's gold and silver or the cryptocurrencies um, or barter to some extent, um, these need to be tied into an alternative form of media as well. So one of these I, I've, I've told you about before and followed is, is Florin Coin. Do I think this is going to be anything important? Nah, probably not. You can see it's it's getting ready to rally again. Hopefully people uh, who got out of it might have gotten back in a low price. There's also Steam. If you followed Steam it, it uh, looks like um, Poloniex has gotten them disabled now. But uh, there's, you can see, if you just think about it, that there's obviously going to be many, many others coming out of the alternative crypto space who are going to take a bite out of this media control. Now, I, back in 2013, I demonetized my YouTube channel, formed a member site, and one of the reasons I did that is because I saw the censorship coming. I was already seeing the impact of policies. In fact, when Google bought YouTube, I knew that it was almost over because uh, they're going to control what you say by the purse strings. So I took it offline, made it into a member site, 
just so nobody can tell me what I can say. Now, these alternative cryptocurrencies and also the alternative social media platforms that are going to be connected to them, um, this is going to be a great uh, alternative to this uh, fake news machine that we have. And, you know, they love to throw the term fake news. That's actually a term that um, the left is trying to discredit the right with. But actually, the actual fake news is, like I mentioned with 911, where the media is actually involved in these hoaxes or psyops, uh, false flags, and trying to sway public opinion. No longer reporting any news, no longer uh, reporting the facts, but just simply uh, manipulating public opinion. And... Um, having our treasury secretary be a hollywood producer <laughs> married to a hollywood tranny pretty obviously um that's a big statement about where they're planning on taking things and uh definitely want to encourage people who are going the other direction uh as far as the stuff that is controversial civil war riot stuff uh, I, I'm just ignoring it now. I'm not even commenting on it, not even following it. And uh, hopefully as more people do that, those people just go away when they realize that uh, all of their false flags and hoaxes and psychological operations that they run just simply don't get a reaction and they're a waste of time. They'll stop doing them. And we'll talk to you next time.